Yeah, so could you just you know run me through that uh, performance today? It was a really good showing for your team, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was um, pretty uh, good team performance uh, today. Um, we just keep it nice and simple. Um, we spoke about that during the week. Um, don't be a little bit frantic. Just uh, make sure we just roll through the middle, complete our sets, and just like keep on defending, defending good. So you're going to see our defense today was um, pretty good. We only consider like one try for the whole game. So. I was focused more on our defence this week, leading up to the game. Did you feel like you had a point to prove after that game of Australia? Yeah, 100%. So, for the last World Cup, like we've been finishing semi-finals. So, this year we just want to take a step a little bit more than semi-finals. So, even though we started well against Australia, about just lacking our discipline. We didn't control the ball in the last what, 20 minutes in each half. So, that's what was one of the main focus leading up to this game. If we can hold the ball, complete our sets and uh, make him arm wrestle, so we ended up uh, getting a win. It's a really strong performance, but do you feel like you've sent a message to the rest of the tournament with that? Uh, we, yeah, definitely, like, especially after today. It's like I said before, like, we, we had to like, make sure that our other nations are looking forward to play against us because we want to make a statement. And uh, we're just taking it week by week. Well, obviously, we got a win this week, and now we're going to focus on Scotland next week. But really good to get the win after a loss last week. Obviously Italy come to this tournament as one of the big underdogs. What did you make of their performance today? Uh, well, they, um, they're pretty, they got a couple of good spine in, in, the, in their middle. So for them, like the first 10, 15 minutes was a bit of an arm wrestle up until we score like two back-to-back -back tries and then after that we just keep on rolling through the middle. We just keep it nice and simple. We just play the Fijian style of footy, go through the front door and then we just shift it up wide. So that's, that's been our main focus during the week. Nothing fancy, just nice and simple. And you must have been very happy with your own performance as well. Uh, well, every time I go out there on the field, especially representing my country, I just want to give everything I got. I just empty the tank week in, week out. So, as a little kid growing up in Fiji, it's always my dream to play for my country. And every time I don't jump, I just want to make part of it. So, yeah. And a big following as well. A lot of uh, Fiji fans around the stadium today. You must have heard the, them supporting you throughout yeah, the match. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty loud out there, to be honest. I can. Um, I uh, hear them singing Fijian's uh, song on, on the sideline, which kind of uh, give a little boost to us uh, playing because we know what they, they what they were singing. So it was pretty good. Uh, uh, we've got a good uh, fan club here in uh, Newcastle. Next up is uh, Scotland. What have you made of them so far in, in this tournament? Have you paid much attention to them, or are uh, you just taking it game nah, by game? We, I haven't. Like we just like you said, like we're just taking like game by game. So we just focus on Italy this week, and now we get the job done. And then obviously. Next week, then we'll get a more focus on uh, Scotland leading up to the game next week. Uh, the first time you've played on the artificial surface, what did you make of that out there today? Yeah, well, it looked fast out there, but um, it's like I said, I haven't played in this kind of um, kind of ground. Got a couple of grazes on my on my on my legs and stuff, but I'm saying that just look fast out there. Do you think it suits you as a side, a sort of surface like that, that you can? Um, well, for some for some boys, like especially out, out wide, mm. it's make them like run quicker. <laughs> But for us in the middle, it's a bit hard too, because you just pretty much run hard, take it hard. So sometimes it's kind of hard for some, but it's easy for some. Yeah. And what will be the main focuses for you this week in training, building up to Scotland? We just need to um, discipline again. Uh, towards the back end of the the second half, there we kind of uh, put in some late shots and stuff like that. It's a good aggression, but we just need to control our aggression, especially coming up against um, against Scotland next week. So I just need to focus on our defence and keep on playing the way we played today. Nice and simple and make sure we, uh, our completion is high. Right, that's what is that message back home to the fans? What's up with you? What's up with you? I'm going to be coming in and I'm going to be coming in my beat. I'm going to be coming in and 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 I'm going to be coming in Rawat dengan gangga satu nombor ini kita nak bawa orang nak terlain nama tamigos untuk ke Scotland. Minta balik God bless.